I've wetted the area of the field um, and across the sheep and I'm going to try and blend uh, cool green with sort of terracotta colour wet unto wet in horizontal strips. So the field is um, partly a harvested crop stubble and partly new grass and the direction of harvesting or cutting is horizontal uh, parallel to the viewing plane in this case so that means narrower strips further away slightly deeper wider ones coming closer that's that's a cooler bright green mix with a little cerulean blue and cadmium yellow and this is a slightly yellower mix with more cadmium yellow and less cerulean blue so I'm disregarding the sheep for the moment sweeping across on damp to create a blurred effect so I'm hoping the sheep will be in sharper focus than this then I'll switch to the terracotta mix which is um, yellow ochre and crimson again keeping this flattish movement of the brush. So I'll use more intense colour near and more dilute colour further away. Ochre and crimson. Raise the angle of the brush, try and make softer, thinner lines further away, going across the field. So I'm hoping to blend these colours without mixing them. So they blend or dissolve into each other a little bit, but don't mix. So I'm looking for any white gaps there that are in the field that should have colour. Let's put colour into those and leave that to dry. So the next step with this would be to um, let it dry fully and then lift out using a synthetic brush lift out with a little clean water on a synthetic brush once the whole thing is dried off something like that take away So I'm going to let the lower edge of the sheep in the foreground have a little bit of the green left over and try and sort of work that down with a flat brush to make this look like a little bit like the texture of grass against the sheep. And when this is dried, come back and have a look at the painting of the sheep all wet on dry. So the, the sheep are a little bit less um, pressure on the lifting out further away and I've used 
um, salt resist effect in the foreground whilst this was still damp to create an impression of texture, possibly thistles, weeds, something like that in front. And once that is completely dry, we would start to work into individual sheep, wet on dry, with ochre and ultramarine, a little bit of pink, leaving out on the top edge, and some water-soluble pencil, a little bit of shadow underneath. This has to dry completely the stage first. <laughs> 